hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Catherine, and i talk about various topics and i've been talking about essential oils last time i promised to tell you about essential oil for the skin we already talked about um essential oil for the homes you can uh, check out my last video if you want to know about the essential oils for the homes but this time i'm going to tell you about essential oil and skin care rose essential oil in particular is what i'm going to talk about this is pure rose essential oil all you need is a pure rose essential oil and some carrier oil because using pure essential oil on your skin can be damaging because essential oils are very strong they go deep into the veins very fast and so can also damage the skin if you don't use with a carrier unless you're using it just for the homes so the rose essential oil is very good for anti-aging the wrinkles for toning the skin as well psoriasis eczema all the skin uh, problems for acne reduction of scarring after acne and just for soothing in case you have been burnt in the sun or something like that also on the body it can be used on the wrist points if you feel not so relaxed it's very calming <clears throat> if you're stressed you can just take a few drops this you can just apply a little on your pulse and you can apply on your neck as well just a little a few drops it's good if you use with a carrier carrier oil can be any kind of oil like coconut oil grapefruit grapeseed oil very good for carriers you have to use a ratio of three to one one drop of essential oil and uh, three drops of uh, carrier oil is good to go and you can use it for fragrance as a perfume as well as a perfume you can as well just drop in a bit like that and this is my carrier oil i have coconut oil here for the carrier oil so you can pour the carrier oil inside your container and then put a few drops of the rose oil and then mix a bit and put on your pulses as a perfume not only will it work as a perfume but it will also calm you if you're stressed things like that and it will give a very good fragrance for scarring or anti-aging you can mix the three drop one drop of rose oil one drop of rose oil using a pipette this is the rose and then just put a drop in a container like that or any container that you might have this is the one i have at the moment and then put three drops of some oil for this case i'm using coconut oil you can put three drop drops of coconut oil in it and then mix you can mix with your finger if you want if it's clean and then apply on the wrinkle areas the, the what do you call this the crawl whatever this corner look like you apply there apply under the eye gently apply in areas that tend to form wrinkles smile areas things like that forehead areas apply slowly in circles do not apply directly essential oil to your skin because it can be damaging since as i said it's very strong that is why you need a carrier oil a carrier oil will not dilute its uh, you its 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 power but it will only make it more applicable to your body without having to feel its strength that's what the use of a carrier oil it doesn't take away its benefits it just helps so you can as well use a carrier oil that is also beneficial to the skin like coconut oil known for anti-aging also mix with the rose oil apply on the acne area if you have acne scarrings do the same mix with some oil maybe coconut oil and then uh, one drop of rose oil using a pipette mix and then apply to the scarred area gently apply to the scarred area you can be doing this before you sleep on a very clean skin that you have cleaned that you have washed so that it does its work while you are sleeping also on the old scars of acne you can also do the same mix a carrier oil it can be almond oil as well mix with a drop of coconut oil 
and apply on the scarred area every day you can as well use it under your moisturizer every day and then after a few months this is not a miracle thing after a few months you will notice that the scars have reduced and finally they will disappear if you take good care of your skin it's also used for psoriasis eczema reduction of all these things soothing if you feel like you have your sun is burning you so much you feel so inflamed you can as well use rose water on your cold towel and just apply on your face gently it's very soothing or use burning from sunburn use it on the face as well apply on a cold towel ring it very cold towel and then put it on your face just to soothe it it's a very good oil for, for all these things and reducing wrinkles especially and also just gives a glowing skin this oil is normally made from a natural rose oil from natural rose not natural rose oil, rose oil sorry natural rose petals are plucked and then there is a distillation process steamed and then distill get whatever you want you can also get rose water from those petals and use them as a toner besides getting the oil itself but as well if you can want to make the coconut you if you want to make the rose oil at home the, let's say the original or you don't have to wait for the factory if you have a lot of roses in your compound for example pluck the roses put them in a pot then mix with some coconut uh, oil and just cook it you know fry it cover it and fry it it will produce some steam and then you you sieve it you know you sieve it and then the or the rose petals will remain on top and then the oil will go down that coconut oil is now mixed with the rose you can use it on your skin to get all these benefits if you are consistent it's a natural thing that means it is not a a one day miracle okay so these are the benefits of the rose essential oil just some of the benefits but we have more than that in my next video i'll be talking about the lavender oil see the lavender oil is another essential oil it's very good properties for sleep for those of you who it's midnight and your eyes or 3 a.m and your eyes are still like this working up you cannot sleep this is the best oil for you, the lavender oil, which I'm going to talk about in my next video. See you. Like, subscribe, and share if you want more of my videos. Ciao.